Okay, <clears throat> bear with me here. So this is the board that I've got hooked up with ISP. And so my ISP programmer is here. I come through here. Uh, I've got my MOSI, MISO, and SCK. I've got my reset line here. And I've got my power and my ground set up. And those go also back to the the uh, the programmer. I, uh, in this example, I'm actually powering it with the programmer, but you may not be able to do that. It depends on your programmer. Uh, so you might have another jumper. In the software, uh, I've got an example of Blink in which I have modified the LED pin to be pin 6 because that's the only output I have on this board. In Tools, I set it as Arduino Uno. COM14 is my ISP programmer, and my programmer is an Atmel STK500 style, so that's what I'm using. And this is, again, just the Blink example. I go to Sketch, Upload Using Programmer, and it will take just a little bit. I've got it on verbose everything, so it's going to spew a bunch of junk. All right, so that verifies that I did, in fact, program the board, because now I've got my LED here on my output. So the way I've got this wired up is I've got my signal coming out, going through a uh, LED, then that goes through a resistor, and then back to 5 volts. So don't really worry about that too much, but uh, that's just to make sure I'm programming this board. The next step is you go to uh, Megatiny Core GitHub. Right here, make a cheap UPDI programmer. And download this Arduino sketch, JTAG to UDPI, or UPDI. Uh, so get the whole the whole project. When you open that in Arduino, it should look like this with a blank front page. Verify again that you are Arduino Uno, the programming port of your ISP. This is your ISP programmer. Go to upload using programmer. <clears throat> and this one takes a little while to compile too because it's got so many extra things that it's going to link together. While that's going on, I'm going to prep my other board here. So, uh, again, bear with me for a second. There we go. So, it programmed the JTAG to UPDI. And just a second. Sorry for the weird angle that I had to set you. I was looking at my phone for this, and I'm just resetting all of my connections here. Now, <clears throat> after you have successfully programmed the board to be the JTAG to UPDI programmer, that's when you need to solder that little jumper at the top right. So here's the board. So solder this jumper together to jump this. What that does is it disables the reset pin. And once the reset pin is disabled, you can use the JTAG to UPDI. Um, until you've disabled that, you're really just stuck resetting the, uh, the programmer every single time you're trying to download code to it and it thinks that you're trying to program that at mega chip instead of programming the uh, the target board that you're really looking at so again bear with me while I reconfigure my wires my hope is to redesign my board so that it's a little bit easier to just plug in a um, just plug in a servo connector 
and then you won't have to worry about any of this kind of weird reconfiguring and such. So almost there, hold on, bear with me. You can skip ahead, of course. Okay. All right, so I've got now, my ISP programmer also has a FTDI built into it. So that's what I'm using now. I've got that wired up. And on my board, I hardwired my reset. So I'm just not connecting that back to my FTDI. But on the board that you have, again, just solder that jumper and then you just plug your FTDI directly in here and it will work as a programmer. I've got my target board here uh, wired up. Again, that will be redesigned to just a three pin servo connector. And in my board over here, I'm going to switch to my COM port for my FTDI that's on, on that board I mentioned. I'm going to change my chip to the AT Tiny 412 eventually. There it is. So that takes a second or two. Now I'm going to actually pull up that blink code that I had before and I'm going to change what pin I'm talking to. So on that target board I'm talking to, to pin 0 and let's see, make sure that that's all right. Yep. And now I need to change my programmer to be the JTAG to UPDI. Uh, and right now my board is already flashing a blinky program because I tested it before. So I'm going to change this so that it blinks on for two seconds and off for half a second. So now I'm just going to go to upload. And we should see what's going on. I don't want to mess with it while well, it's programming, but so it's setting up using the AT Tiny Mega Core, building all the libraries, linking. It does throw that error every single time. I don't know what it is. Something about a timer. And there we go. So it programmed, and now it is. Oh, well, I guess I turned it off for two seconds and on for half a second. But you get the gist. So that's basically it.